That's the exact reaction I had to turkey burgers too, until I tried this Greek inspired one. With a few simple tricks that I'm gonna show you here today, we're transforming a notoriously bland and dry patty into a juicy, flavor-packed masterpiece. There are two parts to getting a super juicy turkey burger, and part one is all about the ingredients. The first ingredient that matters is the turkey. It's best to use an 85-15 ground turkey, or at the very least a 90-10. The more fat you have, the juicier the burger will be. The second trick is to add previously frozen and thawed spinach to the mix. Since you don't want all of that moisture though, you'll wanna add eight ounces to a cheesecloth or paper towel and squeeze until almost all of the liquid is removed. You should end up with roughly one third to half a cup of packed spinach. Add the drained spinach to a large bowl, along with one and a half pounds of ground turkey. One fourth cup of finely diced red onion. You can also use sweet or white. Half a cup of crumbled feta cheese, Yet another ingredient that will help make these patties extra juicy and flavorful. Three tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro, two cloves of finely minced garlic, and now for all of those delicious seasonings. We've already got a lot of fun components in the mix that will give the burger great flavor, but my secret is actually in the seasoning blend. So to a small bowl, you'll wanna add one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon each of dried basil, oregano, and parsley. Feel free to swap these out for each other or even sub in some dried rosemary or thyme. One fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Yes, I know, but this spice adds a lovely depth of flavor. One and a half teaspoons of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk this all together until it's well combined. Add the seasoning mix to the ground meat and mix all of it together. You can either use a stiff spatula to do this or just get right on in there with your hands. Honestly, this is definitely the easiest way if you don't mind getting a little messy. Once everything is combined, divide the mixture into four equal portions, each about five to six ounces. Shape each portion into a patty that is roughly four to five inches wide and one inch thick. But if you're a stickler for symmetry, you can always use a four to five inch round cookie cutter and shape your patties this way. So part one is all about the ingredients, but part two to getting that juicy burger patty is all about the method of cooking. While you can just pop these patties on the grill and cook them the old fashioned way, I found that using a combo technique of cooking them in a skillet and then baking them in the oven gives you that gorgeous crusty sear while also making sure that you don't under or overcook the inside. To do this, you'll wanna add two tablespoons of either avocado or olive oil to a large oven proof skillet. Either stainless steel or cast iron will both work. Once the oil is sizzling, place the patties into the skillet and cook for three to four minutes. You want it to get a gorgeous crust on that side before you flip it over and cook it for an additional two minutes. Add the skillet to a preheated 400 degree oven and continue cooking for an additional eight to 10 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 160 to 165 degrees. Once removed, the burgers will continue to cook a little more, making them safe to eat over 165 degrees. Serve the patties on your hamburger buns of choice, along with some tzatziki sauce, sliced tomatoes, red onion, and cucumbers. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> That's a good bite. Mmm. Mmm. Dang gum, that is a good turkey burger, y'all. It is so full of flavor with all the spices and herbs and spinach and feta cheese. And they're so super juicy. But you know the drill. I cannot wait to hear what you think. So be sure to let... I still have turkey on my lips. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear what you think, so be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. Also, if you wanna make that tzatziki sauce at home, I've got you covered. Check out this recipe right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. Oh, really messy. Ah!